The tsunami has engulfed several cities in Miyagi Prefecture. What happened in Japan is a good analogy of what has happened here in the past and can happen again. Three piles in the background. This is an example of, unfortunately, what Oregon has to look forward to. This is not a fantastical theory of the future. This is going to happen soon. Imagine a, a big conveyor belt of the Wanda Fuca plate is under here, and where they're locked together, you're deforming the whole North American plate. And this is the, the current research puts the odds of having an eight or nine, a Cascadia event, at about 37% chance in the next 50 years. Call that one in three. These things not only happen here, they happen here regularly. The risk here is extreme. This is about the worst soil in Portland we could have built on. 90 some percent of our fuel comes right through this area. Achilles Hills infrastructure without question. We expect to have a lot of bridge and road failure. People may not be able to communicate with each other. I worry most because I think people will not understand when there's no shelter, there's no food, there's no water. We've just been behind the ball for so many years, so we're playing catch up. We're not as prepared as San Francisco, Los Angeles. I don't sleep well at night. An ancient tsunami that inundated this valley a thousand years ago flooded all the way up to this point. The tsunami picked up sand from the beach in nearby dune. It's a record of that tsunami. No one could outrun it. When the earthquake happens, the big magnitude nine, and the wave shows up in about 20 minutes, you've got thousands of people all along this waterfront here that would have to realize that they're at risk and would have to start moving. I guess if I were to have to give Oregon a grade in our preparedness, if this were to happen tomorrow, I think we would probably be below C. We're doing a post-earthquake drill. We get dispatched to go out to do a rapid evaluation of all the bridge structures within it's the city. Collapsed. There's about a seven inch gap on the north approach and we're gonna close this bridge. I worry that I'll be kind of stuck where I am for a little while and I think that's gonna be true for many people who live on one side of the river but either work or have uh, to take kids to school on the other side of the river. As bad as this is, and as hard as it is to look into somebody's living room with dishes and shoes on the floor and things like that, Japan could be considered a success story. In Sumatra, we lost three quarters of a million people. Japan, on the other hand, was extremely well prepared. You know, this house is gone, but right over there, the bridge is, is still operating, the port is operating. In Oregon, we're at a bit of a crossroads. We're completely unprepared and we can go down the route of Indonesia and just let it happen, or we can actually learn something from Japan and take the other road. In the early part was about the geology and about the maps, and you know, now people understand that and they're asking the question, you know, I'm not a geologist, I'm just a regular person, what do I have to know for my life? 
people need to understand that they will be on their own for more than just three days, in some cases uh, up to two weeks, if not longer. Yes, there's a danger, there is a bit of fear, but that fear can be transmuted into preparedness. This ride is intended to simulate a supply run for their local neighborhood. Ooh, no short term. Do you have a cargo bike? What does your neighbor need? When a disaster comes and you can step up to the plate and help out, that's going to be where the rubber really meets the road. This is my go bag. I have pure water. I have a warm body. That's three days. Don't let this overwhelm your life and overly cloud your life. But to have it be something that we know about, something that we've internalized, part of our being, like rain. We know to wear rain jackets even though the sun might be coming out. This is not that difficult. It's education, awareness, and the will to do something about it.